Me mascot say he, 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 I'm not gonna mess with him. Hey, what's up YouTube land? MGo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Generations Fall of Cybertron Voyager Class Grimlock. So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, while well, I got a quick look at the packaging, so there it is, there is Grimlock looking all Grimlocky. Um, there's his tail, it's his tail. Here you got an Autobot symbol. On the back, you have your obligatory product shot. You got your tech specs. You got your bio right there if you want to read it. And that's basically it for the packaging. So, moving right along, here is Voyager Grimlock in his dino mode, his space T Rex of doom mode. And, um, looks really cool. I really do like it. I really like the way this figure came out. Um, very nicely done. Nice Autobot symbol going on right there on the head. Um, you know, some nice details going on. Uh, the paint, um, in the product shots, the paint came off looking a lot more gold, and obviously this is not, but it still looks good. Um, so yeah, on the, on the forehead here of the Dino Mode, you get the Autobot symbol, and right here, on this part which will become his chest in uh, Robot Mode, you get this symbol right here, which is... Uh, it's in the game, it's the, uh, what is it, the, 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 what their group was called before they were called the Dinobots, what was it called, the, the, the Lightning Coalition, Lightning Thieves, Percy Jack, what, what, Light, Lightning, per, I'm sure about 50 of you will remind me, I forget what that symbol is, but yeah, he has that symbol there, which is pretty cool. Um, yes, he does have a fat tail, because basically this becomes his legs in robot mode, but, um, it doesn't bother me, I still think it looks fine. Um, but yeah, all around, just some nice details going on there, some nice, nice molded in details. Um, uh, underneath, he is pretty much completely hollow. <laughs> There's a lot of hollow going on here, but it serves a purpose. I forgive hollowness when it serves a purpose, and this, it serves a purpose, so... I forgive it, but still, pretty cool. Um, articulation in dino mode, uh, his little arms here are on ball joints, so you can, you know, move these around how you want. Um, the dino legs, they do have a swivel here at the thigh, and you do get a clickety knee joint here, and you get some movement here in the toes. Um, the hips you can move, but um, in dino mode, they are basically meant to sit in this position, because they do actually... If you see here, there's a tab right there, and it actually tabs up into a slot in the hip. So it basically is meant to be in this position, but if you wanted to, you can just take it and, you know, bring these legs out, and then you can have four inches of movement here on the dino legs. But really, it's, it's supposed to be in this position. It's supposed to be just in this static position. So, there you have that. And, of course, you do get the very cool gimmick of the light-up eyes and mouth. And, basically, you just pull back on the switch, and you get a nice, bright red LED. I mean, this thing is really bright. This casts light. It is crazy. Really crazy. And it lights up that Autobot symbol real nice. Lights up those little, you know, Whatever these are, his ears, they light up his ears. He has nice glowing red ears. So pretty, so pretty. And lights up his mouth because he's about to breathe fire on you. Thank you. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But yeah, really, whoa, threw off my focus there. <laughs> but yeah, nice, bright red LEDs. See, this is how you do LEDs. This is how LEDs are done right. Not like they did on the Prime uh, Voyagers. Those, those were done wrong. This is done right. Yes. But, um, yes. Cool dino mode. Me likes. Me likes very much. Um, for accessories, he does come with his sword, which is nicely done. A nice transclearance orange plastic going on there. It's a cool sword. And he does come with his shield, which is also done in that nice transclearance orange with some nice details, nice paint going on there. 
So you have that. And basically for storage in dyno mode, you basically just have these ports here on his hips. And you just take them and you just plug the shield into one hip. And you plug the sword into the other one. And that's your weapon storage in dyno mode. Why not? <laughs> Dare I say why not? So, there you have that. And for comparison, here he is with animated Grimlock. So you can see how they stack up next to each other. Pretty evenly matched. Uh, Follow Cybertron Grimlock is a little bit smaller, but really not by much. Not really. Lengthwise, he's actually a little longer than animated Grimlock. So, there you have that. So, yeah. So, let's get down to transformation. So, the first thing you're going to do is, I guess we'll just start with the legs and work our way up. So, you're going to take this whole section here and split this apart, which can be a bit hard to do because this actually taps together very securely. There we go. So, you're basically going to split the tail in half. You're going to take these sections here, and you're going to bring them down. They just shift down on this on this uh, double hinge right here. And just shift them down, and you'll see here... See if I can get in here. I don't know if you can see it. Ah, can you see it? Yes, you can. There you go. See, there's this little post right there, and it'll plug into a port right there. And also, if you can see it, there's a little hook right there. That will latch over the inside of the tail. So basically, you're just going to plug that little post into the port, and you're going to push the tail into that clip until it snaps into place. And that locks that whole thing in, into place. So then you bring out the foot. Second verse, same as the first. Shift that leg down. And just lock that in place. Come on, man. There you go. Locked in place, flip out the foot, and there you have your legs. Bring the camera up here, because he's getting big. He's getting big and biffy. Now you're going to take the dino legs, you're going to take them, and bring them out, like that. And then rotate them, and bring the... What am I doing? Oh, there Take the arms and bring them in. No, wait, what am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong? Oh my god, what am I doing wrong? Doing something wrong. There we go. No, that's not right either. What's going on here? What's going on here? That's not right. It's not right at all. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know how to play with my toys. <clears throat> What's going Is that right? That's not right. How is that right? That is not even remotely right. No. No, 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 I think, maybe, no, they're not supposed to stick out like that. What the heck am I doing? Try with the other side. Let me try with the other side. There we go. There we go. See, that's, all, that's what you're supposed to do. That's supposed to look like that. So why the heck does that not look like that? My God, my God. I'm a trained professional, people. I'm a trained... I'm a trained... Trained professional. There we go. It's... Ah, uh, we got it right. There we go. <laughs> I'm not editing that out, okay? That's staying. That's staying, okay? I don't... I, I don't even care. Don't even care. It's okay. I'm not ashamed to admit that I am human. It's all right. <laughs> Sometimes I mess up with my toys, okay? It's all right. Anyway, after you get the arms out in a lot less time than I spent doing it, <clears throat> you just want to take this claw here and bring it back, which will in turn bring up the hand. And you just take these claws, bring them in like that, and you can take them and bring these forward like that. Second verse, same as the first. Flip out the hand, bring that in. Now you're going to take the dino head, you're going to untab this, revealing the head. You're going to take the dino head and just bring it down like that. 
and tuck the whole thing into this cavity like that. They use like the little dino arms here and just tuck them in there nice and snug like that. And there you have Grimlock in robot mode. And he looks really cool. He just looks big and beefy and big and beefy. And I really like him. Looks very, very cool. Some good light piping going on here too. Just glows a nice red. Um, getting closer on the head sculpt. Nice, good, Grimlocky head sculpt. And a lot of nice molded in details going on there too. Very nicely done. Again, just really like the way this figure came out. Very nice. Like I said before, the hollowness serves a purpose because all that dino head and everything goes into that cavity. So it serves a purpose. So that's why I forgive the hollowness. But um, yeah, looks really, really cool. Articulation-wise, his head is on a ball joint. It's a little limited in its movement, but, you know, you can still... You can do a little bit with it. Uh, the arms you can do a full 360. They go in and out on a nice clickety-clackety joint. And I popped a dino arm off. Stay. You stay. So you get some inward... And outward movement, and due to transformation, you get a little bit of a inward kind of chest flex movement. That's not flexing his chest, that's this shoulder, not his chest. You know what I mean. You can move his shoulder in if you want. That's all I'm trying to say. <laughs> ah, this is the best review ever. Ever. He does have a bicep swivel, he does have. Elbow joint with some nice clickety clackety action going on there. He does have a wrist swivel. Uh, legs can go forward and back. And it's a soft ratchet joint, but it's there. It clicks. And you do get only that much outward movement. You get a thigh swivel. You get nice clickety knee joint. And you get some of this pivoting action here in the foot. That's basically it for his articulation. But still, very nicely done. Sometimes you have to get the little dino arms out of the way because sometimes they will bump into this piece right here. So you just kind of have to orient them properly so they're not in the way and not bumping against other parts when you're trying to pose them. But yeah, really cool. And the light-up gimmick still works. When you pull the lever back, now it will light up his chest. It will light up all these little nodes going on there and light up that symbol very cool that's just very neat effect again LEDs done right that's how you do it people and of course you can't hold his sword of murder and you can take the shield and you can plug it into either forearm either forearm has the, uh, the port for it you take that Plug it into his forearm. It would have been nice if his weapons were a little bigger, you know. The sword needs to be bigger, the shield needs to be bigger, but it's it's still okay. It, it still works. But still, cool figure, me likes. Now for comparison, here he is with animated Grimlock. As you can see, he ends up being quite a bit taller than animated Grimlock. And here he is with... Voyager Soundwave, and he actually comes up a bit shorter than Soundwave, a bit shorter at the head than Voyager Soundwave, and there he is with Prime. Now this is in scale, that I will say, this, this I think is in pretty good scale right here, that works. <laughs> For anybody who complains about how small Prime is, just stand him up next to Grimlock and then you'll look at it and say... Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> so. All in all, though, I think he's a really cool figure. I'm really glad to finally have him. I just, I'm just digging this toy. Very, very cool. Definitely recommend it. If you're a Grimlock fan, if you're a Dinobot fan, definitely needs to be on your shelf because Grimlock is king. And the king must be on your shelf. So, definitely recommend it. 
So, I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Transformers Generations Fall of Cybertron Voyager Class Grimlock. And this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud, palm in your face. Hey Megatron, do you remember when you had your bouncer Bruticus throw me out of your house? Yeah, yeah, that was, that was great. I had a good laugh that day. Yeah, well, I got one of my own. What are you talking about, Prime? You think you're real clever, don't you, Prime? Yeah, I do. I really do. <laughs> oh, this is hilarious. Uh, hey, Megs, listen, listen. Megs out. <laughs> oh, man. Prime out. <laughs>